Well, new tonight, the Huntersville mayor wants another meeting with Colonial Pipeline over a massive gas leak, which is now worse than first thought. In their most recent site assessment, Colonial said 1.2 million gallons seeped out through a crack. State officials now say that number will be going up. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger is live in Huntersville tonight with reaction to the newest developments. And Derek, people living there are not surprised, but they aren't happy either. Uh, yeah, the people that we spoke with, they basically said that they weren't surprised that the, about the idea that the number would go higher. But this just means that the work out along Huntersville Concord Road will go on that much longer. And that is something no one is happy about. So by now, it's been eight months since the pipeline leak was discovered in Huntersville. And as it stands, that cleanup may last longer. We just haven't had a lot of confidence in the numbers they've been releasing anyway. Mm -hmm. Not not because we know anything special, but just because of the people that we've talked to, we don't trust them a whole lot. Shannon and Tim Ward live near the cleanup site. We got their thoughts on the new information from Colonial and the state on the leak. Bottom line, it's deeper than initially thought, and that estimated 1.2 million gallon number released a few months ago is going to be higher. But they have found what they're calling a deeper pocket of free product something they did not expect. It's my understanding it is unusual that there was enough pressure and enough product to force it down to a deeper level um, <laughs> is incredibly frustrating. State Senator Natasha Marcus says that's part of the reason she's sponsoring a bill that's aimed at improving pipeline safety. But Huntersville town leaders say the new information begs an even bigger question. How do you not spot this? How does it something now that is going to be far greater than what we think 1.2 million mm -hmm. doesn't show up in your system. Colonial Pipeline for its part says they have been transparent and willing to answer questions. They also said in a statement in part each volume estimate that Colonial has provided since discovering the release has been based on the best available data at the time and added they'll be there as long as it takes to clean it all up. But eight months in people are moving out. Colonial's bought some of the properties and, and they've moved away just for fear of what's coming and then and the noise. Now Colonial has a new site assessment as well as updated numbers and estimates that is due next Monday. We'll, uh, or at least by next Monday. We'll have that information as we get it. In the meantime, the mayor of Huntersville, he says he wants Colonial here at one of their meetings next month to answer more questions. We will let you know the status of that once we get it. Now we're live in Huntersville. Derek Dunlinger, Fox 46.